Hey everybody, Justin Townsend here with Harvesting Nature. Today I am at the Lost Creek Hunting Ranch in North Texas. We use the Lost Creek Ranch to host our Wild Pig Skills Camp. In addition to that, they have a really great selection of exotic game animals, which you can harvest throughout the year. So you'll see in front of me, I've got a, a couple different items, and I'm gonna use these items today to sort of dispel a myth. The myth that I'm talking about involves taking meat and submerging it in ice water. So what I have here in this lug is an ice water bath, and what I have here in this cooler is the proper way to cool down meat. We've got ice down in the bottom, we've got a barrier between it, and we'll place the meat on top. So I'm gonna take half of this sirloin tip here, I'm gonna put it inside the ice water, and we're gonna submerge it for 24 hours and just let it set in the water. And then we're gonna take this meat and we're gonna put it in the cooler and we're gonna let it set for 24 hours and then we're gonna bring them back together and I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison to show you the difference and talk about what happened while we went through this process. It's been 24 hours now since we took this piece of meat and submerged it in the ice water. And we've got its uh, companion piece over here in the cooler. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this one out and uh, I'll show you what exactly has happened. So, I'll dry it off a little bit here. And as you can see, this piece of meat is absolutely pale. Pretty uh, soggy looking as well, a little sad. You pull out its companion piece over here. If you look at that, still bright red, beautiful piece of meat. Something you'd see in the grocery store, something that you would serve and want to eat. When you look at these two pieces side by side, they're drastically different, just in appearance, but also in texture and the way that they feel. We're gonna cut into them and show you what happened on the inside. As you look at the inside of it, you're not seeing much change, so really no point in soaking in the ice water because that water is not penetrating. It's not doing the things that people commonly think it is. It's not tenderizing the meat. It's not pulling out the blood. You're not pulling out any gamey flavors. Those gamey flavors are really common when you have poor field care methods and poor cooking techniques. That's when you get those sort of quote unquote gamey flavors. But the difference is very apparent and I'll leave you with this last thought. Would you go to the store and buy a $40 piece of meat and bring it home and submerge it in an ice water bath? The answer is probably no. So why would you do that with your wild game?